we can use what we know about logarithms in order to solve some of these exponential equations. Now I showed you in another video how if we can find two things you know, the, of the same base, then it's really easy. In other words, if I said two to the power of x equaled, I don't know, eight, let's say, then this would be easy because eight could be written as a power of two. But the problem here is that 10 is not a power of two. I can't say two to the power of what equals 10. Well, well, that's essentially what I'm asking for here. Two to the power of what equals 10. It's not a nice number, so we're gonna have to calculate something. So you might think, oh God, we're totally stuck, but you're not, because you can use logarithms. They can come in and save the day. What we're gonna do is arbitrarily take the log of both sides. So we can say log of 2x equals log of 10. You can arbitrarily do anything as long as you do it on both sides of the equation. So as long as you do log on both sides, you can do this. Okay, fine, why in the world did we do this? Because now we can use our rules of powers of logs, which means log of two to the x is the same thing as this x coming in front. So it's x log two equals log 10. See, that's the way to sort of solve for the x. That's the way to get the x down. Because right, it's really complicated otherwise to sort of get rid of a power. This is how you can do it. You can take the log and then use this rule. Well then you can say that x is just then uh, log 10 divided by log of two. And again, can you then say it's log of 10 over two? Nope, there's no rule for log of 10 divided by log of two. So you're sort of stuck here. Uh, then you might want to use your calculator, but actually we can make this one little step easier. Turns out if you remember how we write the notation for this, log of 10 is the same thing as saying log with a little sort of stealth 10 at the bottom because we didn't say what base it was, so it's assumed to be 10. What this really means is this is 10 to the power of what equals 10? Okay, so this is what we're really saying. We're saying 10 to the power of x equals 10. This is like we're trying to find x here. So 10 to the power of x equals 10. 10 to the power of what equals 10? Well, this is like a 10 to the power of 1, so this is like x equals 1. That means log of 10 is the same thing as 1. That's what I'm just trying to show you. This is 1 over log 2. If you're not sure, just do log of 10. That's fine. And you can do this on your calculator. If we want it to two decimal places, like it suggested, then you can say, fine. You can do it if you want to leave with the logs. Log of 10, answer. And look, it's 1. Hey, look at that. Take that and divide that by log of 2. I put brackets just to be absolutely sure I don't make any mistakes. And that gives me 3.32 if I wanted two decimal places. So 3.32. So x equals approximately 3.32. It's not exactly right, I've rounded it. But that's what they wanted me to do, that's what they asked for. We can do the same thing in another example here. So again, 10 to the power of x equals 15. And I can't write 10 and 15 as numbers with the same base, so I can't just do it by hand, not easily. So instead, I'm going to use my calculator to, but first I have to prepare. So the first thing I'm going to do is arbitrarily take the log of both sides. So log of 10 to the x equals log of 15. Then what do I do? I use this rule where the x can come in front. So x log 10 equals log 15. And then again, that means x equals log 15 over log 10. Remember, the log 10 is just 1. But if you're not sure, you can always just do it slowly. So that means I'm just going to do log of 15. That gives me an answer of 1.176. If you're not sure, you can always do divided by log of 10, but of course that's not going to do anything. That's just dividing by 1. So that'll leave it the same value. So if I want that to two decimal places, it's going to be 1.18. So we can say x equals approximately 1.18. So that's just some examples of how we can actually solve equations using logarithms.